Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating a material ID in Rhino 7. As you can see from this example here, a material ID is essentially a way of breaking your 3D model down into a series of block colours which can be used in post-production as a way of selecting particular materials within your model and adjusting the colours of those materials. Now what's important in your file setup for this process is you're setting up all your pieces of 3D modelling in layers which correspond to the material you want them to be. So you can see on my layers panel here I've got my concrete which is red, which is then red in the viewport, my landscape which is green, etc etc. Now how you would then go about using these is in this example in Photoshop I've got my final render here and my material ID here and you can see what we can do with these material ID layers is I can select or the landscape here and then using any adjustments in Photoshop we can then just adjust key parts of the image by that selection so it's a really useful way of adjusting key elements of an image without having to reselect them again using that material ID. Now we're going to go through the steps on how you make this viewport in Rhino and we're going to just start by looking at it in the shaded view. Now Essentially the way you make this is you can make custom viewport display options within Rhino and by default you have the wireframe, rendered, ghosted, etc. But you can see here I've made a material ID one, this custom one here. And to make your own custom ones we can go down to display options and this will open up our Rhino options panel. And if we go to display modes here which is under the view tab you can see it lists out all the different display modes we have in our Rhino model. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the shaded display mode and we're going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to just call it Material ID 2 there. Now all we have to do is just change a few settings in this shaded viewport to change it into that block color Material ID view. So the first is the background and we're going to change it to a solid color here and we're going to make it black as well. Then we're going to turn off the shadows only on the ground plane. We're going to keep this setting on and we're going to keep these linear workflow settings as they are for now as well. Now in shading settings we're going to keep shade objects on but where it says custom material for all objects we're going to change that to objects color and we're going to turn the gloss down to zero so there's no gloss and no transparency on those. Now we're going to go down to visibility and we're then going to turn off every one of these visibility options because this is all the kind of lines on your geometry, any points, any text in your model and we just want a block color for each of the objects so it's important that those are all turned off. Then under lighting method we're going to turn off the lighting and go no lighting and once those are all done we'll hit OK. And to test that we then go back to our little drop down by our view name, find the new display view we've made which is material ID 2 and there you can see it's now that block colour material ID. And using that in combination with a render I would render out my scene as per usual here and then to get the material ID I'd go down here to capture, capture to file and just make sure the resolution and the aspect ratio matches the aspect ratio of your render then when you bring both of those in to your Photoshop file as per this example here they'll both line up one on top of the other and you can then use your material ID to start to control specific elements and materials within your renders. So that was just a quick tutorial on how to make a material ID display mode within Rhino 7. Thank you for watching.